in the heart of Puri where the sea waves kisses the shore stands a temple a celestial abode its spires pierce the sky adorned with mystical symbols the nila chakra a wheel of azure brilliance spinning like time itself within this sacred walls resides jagannath the enigma of divinity his eyes large round and all seeing hold secrets of creation a smile a crescent moon dipped in honey beckons devotees from every corner of existence the word jagannath is derived from the confluence of two sanskrit words jagat which means universe and nath meaning master or lord thus jagannath means lord of the universe the trio of deities consisting of lord jagannath balbhadra and subhadra are worshipped at the temple along with sudarshan the four deities are carved out of dark colored neem woods the well known descriptions as found in the skanda puran the brahma puran and other puranas state that lord jagannath was formerly worshipped as sri neelamadhav by a savar king the tribal chief named vishwavasu There once lived a great king in the Krita Yug named Indradyum. That righteous soul once belonged to the solar race and was the fifth descendant from the creator deity Brahma. He was truthful in speech and of good conduct. He was an ardent devotee of Vishnu and very truthful. He had subdued anger and the sense organs. He performed Rajasuya that is the most excellent of yagya. and a thousand ashwamedha yagya he was highly glorious desirous of salvation and devoted to virtue and piety thus endowed with all good qualities the king ruled over the earth at the capital city named avanti situated in malwa and well known all over the earth he lived in that city which was rich in all kinds of precious stones and like another amaravati that is the capital of indra One day a pilgrim appeared bearing a tale of wonder. He spoke of Niladri, a remote mountain peak where the demigods themselves worship the Lord. There amidst the midst and sacred silence the deity Neelamadhav stood, a manifestation of the formless Brahman, carved from stone or wood to accept the pure love of devotees. After knowing about the Lord King Indradyumna directed a Brahmin priest Vidyapati to discover the deity who was worshiped secretly in a dense forest by Vishwavasu Vidyapati tried his paramount resources to locate the place but he failed in the beginning However at the end he managed to convince Vishwavasu's daughter Lalita to marry him Following the marriage due to repetitive requests of Vidyapati Vishwavasu took his son-in-law blindfolded to a cave where Lord Neelamadhav was worshipped. Vidyapati was intelligent. In order to identify the path, he dropped mustard seeds on the ground while he was travelling along Vidyapati. The mustard seeds sprouted into plants in a few days, which identified the way to the cave later on. On hearing the good news from him, King Indradyumna proceeded instantly to Odisha. on a pilgrimage to visit the lord but on arrival he found the deity was missing the king felt dejected but was adamant not to return without having a darshan of the lord he decided to perform fast unto death at mount neel then a celestial voice cried thou shalt see him subsequently the king performed 1000 ashwamedha yagya and built a magnificent temple for Vishnu the first murti of lord narasimha was brought by narad which god installed in the temple subsequently one day during sleep the king got an image in his dream of lord jagannath balbhadra subhadra and chakra sudarshan a cosmological voice also directed him to bring the massive dark colored divine log of wood floating in the seashore and make idols out of it 
Sage Narada advised to bring the divine log of wood to a high altar, presently identified as the Mahavedi. Then Sri Vishwakarma, the divine architect, emerged in the disguise of a wrinkly old carpenter and requested the king for giving him an opportunity to carve the wooden idols, which were to become deities. The carpenter had made one condition with the king and queen, stating not to open the door till the end of 21 days. However, just after two weeks, one fine day, the queen became very anxious as she couldn't hear any noise from inside. She assumed the carpenter to be dead and requested the king to open the door. On the 17th day, the king opened the door, but to their surprise, they found the three idols unfinished with incomplete hands and the carpenter being disappeared. But a divine voice told King Indradyumna to install these deities in the temple. The King Indradyumna then requested Sri Vishwakarma to build a magnificent temple to house the deities. Finally, the deities were installed in the temple by Brahma with divine rituals. Lord Jagannath is known as Daru Brahm. In the 28th chapter of Skanda Puran, Purushottam Shetra Mahatmaya, Lord Brahma himself reveals the true identity of Lord Sri Jagannatha when he instructs King Indradyumna with, with these words. Thinking it is a wooden image, O preeminent king, let there not be the idea in you that this is a mere image. This is verily the form of Supreme Brahman. As Parabrahma takes away all sorrows and confers eternal bliss, he is known as Daru. According to the four Vedas, therefore, the Lord is manifest in the form of Daru. He is the creator of the entire universe. He has also created himself. King Indradyumna then introduced the daily and special festive rituals of the Lord as per scriptures which continues till date. The temple of Lord Jagannath constructed by King Indradyumna is considered to be the tallest monument of the world with thousand cubits high and also the most beautiful temple of Lord Vishnu. Sri Jagannath is black in complexion, Sri Balbhadra is white, Mata Subhadra is turmeric yellow and the Sudarshan Chak is red in color. These deities are unique and signifies that Sri Jagannath is beyond space and time and symbol of universal love and brotherhood. The glory and descriptions of manifestations of Sri Jagannath has been described in many sacred scriptures of Sanat and Vedic Dharma, ranging from the Vedas to the Puranas, followed by literary composition in Sanskrit, Odia and other languages.